So, you know, uh, if Donald Trump somehow turns these polls around and wins this election, we're, we're going to be without quite a few Hollywood celebrities. The latest is the British actress Sienna Miller, who says that she may leave the United States if that happens, if there's a President Donald Trump, Robin Leach here, to say that he'd be happy to open the door. Uh, anyway, very good to have you. Oh, I'd give her the airfare. I'd buy the ticket. What? They're all saying stuff like oh, this. Oh, please, they're all hypocrites. You know that. Why? Well, they take all of our money and then they badmouth the country. Not you. Never have, never will. All right. Now, I've got to like... tell you, you know, the only person in a three piece business suit in Las Vegas is, is a me. hotel tycoon. <laughs> you do know that. I, th you, I knew I was going to be interviewing you. Him. You look like Steve Wynn or Sheldon Adelson, you know, if both that of them support true. Donald. If that were true. <laughs> uh, you know, Steve Wynn was kind of coy talking to me earlier about who he supports, but he seems to be philosophically more in line with Donald Trump. I could be wrong. You're, you like Trump, right? Now, now you can't vote. You're British and all. But right. uh, what do you make of where he stands right now? Well, first of all, the overall umbrella viewpoint is how tragic that America, which is the greatest country in the world, which is why I get annoyed at the CNN Millers of this world bad-mouthing us, um, that we, we have it, it's come down to two people who literally you wouldn't vote for either. I mean, it's sad. It's, it's terrible. They do have very the high world, negatives, yeah. Terrible on the world stage. I was in Italy all summer, and that's all people could say was, what has happened to America? Why can't we produce legitimate, honest statespeople who can help take not only America out of the troubles it has, but also lead the world out of the mess we're in? But you know what I hear around a lot of people say? Take their respective personalities and negatives out of it. Who's going to turn this around? You were telling me that Las Vegas is kind of coming back now. Roommates have to come up a little bit. But there's this idea that we can do better than 1%, 1.5% growth, which is Donald Trump's key theme. Is that resonating with people you talk to? No, I, and, and here's the tragedy. We are, it's the muck that's resonating. And it's, it's the, you know, you put one bad apple in a barrel of 19 good apples and the 19 bad, good apples rot. Hmm. And that's what we've got at this moment. We don't have anybody making it whole. Um, you know, I've, not, I've known Donald Trump for many years since the, since the 1980s when he first surfaced. All of this stuff is just a pack of lies. I've been out with him socially. He never, ever, you could talk to his, his wives. There's not the slightest bit of impropriety. When, when I was running Lifestyles, my staff of 19 field producers, I think 18 of them were women, many of whom interacted with him on interviews and scouting locations and shooting B-roll in different places. Nobody, nobody, not one person ever came back and said, you know, Donald Trump was a bad boy. Nobody. So when you heard these latest women coming out. I don't out, believe any of it. And I, and, and then I you questioned their time. Dirty Chicago politics at its finest. You know, you can buy certain kind of people to make the most outrageous claims in the world. And it's, it's terrible that the... The future of America and the future of the world has come down to one team slug, um, you know, slugfesting with slime lies to justify him not getting elected. What if, what if he That's did get, terrible, what if he terrible did get elected? I, know, I saw polls in this state that show him down seven points, but he, let's say he surprises people and gets like he, he says these polls understate his support. Let's say he's right. Let's say he wins. Like Brexit. Right, like Brexit. Just like Brexit. What do you make of that? It's a good possibility. Um, you know, Brexit was five points the other Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it turned out when the vote was in, Do it you think was that five could points. Happen here? Highly possible. Highly possible. I think when people go into that election booth and that's the moment of conscience, the moment of decision, highly, highly possible that they will just ignore everything that's been slung at Donald. All right. Well, watch closely. Robin Leach, real pleasure. And, and you look so city. healthy. Beautiful. Thank you. You look very so much. healthy. There's going to be a run on Medicare from people wanting triple and quadruple bypasses. So they I look like you. I wouldn't recommend that. You wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. No, no. They, they, but you to look get amazing. To that point takes a while. All right. Thank you, my friend. You've been You're a welcome. class act throughout. Uh, he's worshipped in this city. I think you can see why.